Any other questions? Prabhu, in the chat box, I place a question. No, let, the let, let, the, let the person facilitating to read that. Huh? Uh, yes. Akshay? Yes, Prabhu. This is a question, Prabhu, by Rosemary Mataji. It's a question not regarding to, not relating to our topic. She says, honoring prasadam is also a means of devotional service. Prasadam is usually distributed to everyone, but how can we make ourselves worthy of receiving that blessing from the Lord? So how? The only way is to have faith. Unless a person has faith and full faith in Krishna as devotees, hmm? then yes, Krishna will make arrangement. Mahaprasada Govinde, Namo, Brahmane, Vaishnave. Huh? The prayer we chant during taking prasadam, correct? So... If you don't have the viswas, the faith, then you cannot get all these things. So to understand the value of prasadam, devotees, Krishna and everything, it starts off with first faith. So Krishna also said here, that if you don't have this faith, then all these things will not be available. You will be returning to the cycle of birth and death. Can you read this? Those who are not faithful in this devotional service cannot attain me, O conqueror of enemies. Therefore, they return to the path of birth and death in this material world. So in order to get prasadam, you need to have this faith. If you're not faithful, then yes, you will go back to the cycle of birth and death. Yes? Yes, Prabhu. Another question? Yes, Prabhu. We have a, another question by Dheeraj Prabhu. So Prabhu is saying, he is quoting Prabhupada. Vashila Prabhupada said that he's saying, just as the dress is tailored according to the body, similarly, the form of the soul is according to the physical body. So his question is, is the form of the soul different for different species of life? The form of the soul, you know, as Prabhupada said, you know, the tailor cuts the cloth according to the body, you know. So the spirit soul acquires that body according to the material, subtle bodies, uh, you know, which is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. The living entity thus taking another gross body obtains a certain type of ear, eye, tongue, nose, and sense of touch, which are grouped about the mind. He thus enjoys a particular set of sense objects. So according to the mental position, then the dress is given for the soul. The soul doesn't change, you understand? But because of the covering, so when he gets to the spiritual position, he gets back to his spiritual form. Are you understanding? Huh? Yes, so is the spiritual form same for every living entity? Every Spir generation? Spiritually, we are all equal. But we may have different forms in the spiritual world. If you are in Goloka Vrindavan, you may take different Bayud form or Gopi form, or you know. If we go to the uh, Vaikuntha Loka, you have 400 forms. Hmm? Yes? yes so there are different forms, you know, it depends on your, your, your spiritual elevation. Yes? Yes, so in this material world, the form of soul is different for different... No, the soul is always the same. In the material world, it is covered. You understand? Okay. Yes, yes. The soul is always the soul. They cannot change it. His position is also transcendental. 
But because he's in the material world, he's covered with the material energy, three modes of material nature. But in the spiritual world, he has got no maya there. You understand? He goes back to his original position and he has got an original body. You follow? Huh? Yes, bro. Yes, yes. Anything else? Uh, yes, Prabhu. We have a question by Vishwajit Prabhu. He's uh, trying, he's finding some difficulty, Prabhu, in understanding the Lord's internal potency, marginal potency, and the external potency. If you can kindly elaborate. Okay. It is says in the Vishnu Purana. No? Six one. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. What is that? No, yeah, six one five four. What they are? Six six, six dot one five four. Okay, here you can see all these three verses that explains. You can mute the person. We would like to request our other devotees. The people, the devotees who have not read yet, they can come and take their chance to read. Please. Anyone who has not yet read. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. You can read. Hare. The internal potency of the Supreme Lord Vishnu is spiritual as verified by the Shastras. There is another spiritual potency known as Chetragya or the living entity. The third potency, which is known as Nesans, makes the living entity godless and fills him with fruitive activity. In the Bhagavad Gita, in Sri Krishna's discourse on the Shetra and Shetragya, it is clearly stated that the Shetragya is the living entity who knows his field of activities. The living entities in the material world are forgetful of their eternal relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This forgetfulness is called avidya or nisans. The avidya sakti, the avidya potency of the material world provokes fruitive activity. Although this avidya sakti, material energy or nisans, is also an eternal, is also an energy of the supreme personality of Godhead, it is especially intended to keep the living entities in a state of forgetfulness. This is due to their rebellious attitude towards the Lord. Such although the Stalled on to. Living entities are constitutionally spiritual. They come under the influence of the potency of Nisans. How this happens is described in the following verse. O King, the Satyagya Sakti is the living entity. Although he has the facility to live in, the, in either the material or spiritual world, he suffers the threefold miseries of material existence because he is influenced by the avidya nisans potency, which covers his constitutional position. The living entity covered by the influence of nisans exists in different forms in the material condition. O king, he is thus proportionately freed from the influence of material energy to a greater or lesser degree. The material energy acts on the living entity in different degrees, according to how he acquires the association of the three modes of material nature. There are 84 lakh species of life, some inferior, some superior, and some mediocre. The gradations of the bodies are calculated according to the covering of material energy. In the lower categories, including aquatics, trees, plants, insects, birds, and so forth, spiritual consciousness is almost non-existent. In the mediocre category, a human form of life, spiritual consciousness is completely awakened. In the superior life forms, spiritual consciousness is fully awakened. Then the living entity understands his real position and tries to escape the influence of the material energy by developing Krishna consciousness. So now you try to understand the three energies, the spiritual energy, the material energy, and the living entities who are also spiritual, but they are called marginal energies. Huh? 
So the spiritual energy is all the spiritual, the Lord and his expansions and all. And then you have the material energy which is Maya, which has got three modes of material nature, goodness, passion, and ignorance. And then we have we ourselves, we are called the Takshi Shakti or middle, we are marginal. So we have been given our free will either to go to the spiritual energy or to go into the material energy. If we go into the material energy, we will have to pay our price by getting into a lot of problems, miseries. But if we go to the spiritual energy, then we go back to the spiritual world and that's it. We go to our original position and we become, you know, very happy in the service of the Lord. Is it clear? Yes, Prabhuji, clear. Krishna, thank you, Prabhuji. Done work for now. Any other questions? Uh, mm -hmm. Prabhu, we just have one more question by Vishwadeep mm -hmm. Prabhu also. He is asking that we also kill plants sometimes, when, but then we understand from the Shastra that plants also have life. So does that have a replication on us? Yes, of course, if you kill, you're going to get the reaction. But if you offer it to Krishna, then you have no reaction. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, no? If you offer the, the fruit to me, then you're free from all sinful reactions. Correct? Correct, Prabhuji. Hmm? Which should read, Prabhu, you can read. Hare Krishna, void and pranam, all Gis Prabhupada and Vaishnava. The devotee of the Lord are released from the all kinds of the sins because they eat food, which is the offer first of a sacrifice. Others sense enjoyment. Verily, eat only sins. So even if it's plants and you don't offer it, you are also implicated. Hmm? Yes, Prabhuji. Hmm. Means Prabhuji, prasada, prasada is not a sin. But if you eat before Krishna, food, you found sinful activities. Yes. That's why Krishna says, you know, whatever you do, all that you eat, all that you offer, huh? do it as an offering to me, right? Yes, probably. Says here. Yeah. Whatever you do, whatever you eat, whatever you offer or give away, and whatever you stretch for perform, do that, O son of Kunti, as an offering to me. So you say you have to do everything for the satisfaction of the Lord. Hmm? Yes. Then you are free from all kind of implications. Hmm? All type of sinful activity. It means probably if we do Krishna consciousness, we free from every. Yes, you get freed from all kind of sinful reaction. All right, so anything else? Uh, nothing yet in the chat box, Prabhu. I would like to request if any devotee has any further questions, they can kindly unmute themselves and tell. I think we... Hare there's, Krishna. There's one Hare question Krishna. there. There's a question there. Huh? Yes, Prabhu. Mm -hmm. This is by Anaswar... Uh, Prabhu, he says, Prabhu, can there be a time when a person not able to get a bona fide spiritual master, like after 10,000 years of Kali Yuga, like that? Well, it can always happen. Nothing is impossible. If the person wants to be a sinful person, then he can go on and on and on. Material life, we are already going on for how many millions of years? Half of Brahma's life is finished. Is it not? Hmm? What will we be doing? How many Kali Yugas we have passed? Yes? Yes or not? Yes, Prabhu. Hmm? Yes, Prabhu. So, it is not impossible. Now we are in the, in this Manu, we are in the 21 cycles, uh, sorry, 28 cycles. So, how many cycles of Kali Yuga we have finished? Yes or not? Yes, Prabhu. Uh, yes, Prabhu. I'm asking like a uh, person is simple, but for general person, is there is any way that the spiritual master will not be available like 
is not at all present in this video. Krishna will person. decide that. Krishna will decide that who is going to get it and who is not going to get. It. You understand? Uh -huh. Yes. If you uh, you know you qualify with a lot of pious activities, then Krishna will make arrangement. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If you don't have the piety, as he says in Bhagavad Gita, chapter seven. Uh, 28 it says here you want to read it yes Prabhu after many, many births of executing pious activities, when one is completely free from all contamination and from all illusionary dualities, one becomes engaged in the transcendental loving service of Lord. So unless you qualify after many, many births, huh? you follow? Yes, sir. Ah, so it is not such a cheap thing. But anyway, if you are sincere, Krishna will make arrangements. Hmm? Okay. Yes, Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. I have one question. Yeah. Uh, is the spiritual form of uh, living entity is uh, permanent? Like we cannot change it. We just have to revive it. Spiritual form and position of living entity in spiritual world. It is. It's already. It's already there. You know. You just need to. Re to again revive it, you know. What is and that verse? Krishna change. Bhakti, you know, I think it is 2107, is it? 22107. I think it is, yeah, 22107. See? So you see, this is the thing, it's already there. It's pure love of Krishna is eternally established in the hearts of the living entities. It is not something to be gained from another source. When the heart is purified by hearing and chanting, this love naturally awakens. So you come back to your natural position, <coughs> spiritual position. You understand? Okay. Hmm? And if we desire, then we cannot change it, even if we desire. To do no, so. Why would you worry about all this now? You start chanting first, no? Yes. Huh? Are you there now? Yes. Are you there in the spiritual? No, 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 problem, no. Problem. Then why you worry about it? Does it make any sense? Huh? Hello? Yes. Ah, so just concentrate on chanting and hearing, and this will come to you naturally, gradually. Yes? Yes. yes. Ah, something irrelevant, you know. You understand? Now you try to work to get yourself initiated. Yes? Yes. Bro. Yes. Huh? Yes, please. Before you can walk, you are trying to run and jump and sky, you know, this is not valid, you know. Yes? yes I was just curious to know. This yes. curiosity doesn't hold ground now, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do something practical, no? Ask yes, something please. practical, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Anything else? If any more questions are there by any devotee, you can kindly say out the question aloud. You can unmute yourself and you can speak out your question. Uh, Hare Krishna, Guruji. Just from here. Yes. Um, I, yesterday, I followed like uh, Nirjala Egadasi. Uh, I did uh, fasting without uh, any water, drinking water also. Mm -hmm. uh, but after Nivedim, I had uh, three drops of uh, Tirtam and the Tulsi leaf. Uh, is it... Mm -hmm. uh, is no, it okay? No, it is not uh, breaking the fast. Huh? Okay. It, it, nirjal, if you take Charnamrita, is not considered breaking Nirjal. Hmm? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Thanks, Guruji. Mm. Any more questions by any other devotees? Please, you can unmute yourself and say out your question. Uh, Jaya Varman is raising her hand. I, you can please kindly, kindly unmute. 
Yeah, yeah, we uh, can hear that. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Actually, I just now only joined, so I just want to know how uh, Sri Krishna Paramatma was killed by hunter. So that quest, particular question, question, I want to know that answer. What, what's that again? Uh, Prabhu, he is saying that if you can explain how Krishna was killed by Dara. So Prabhu, you can see the recording. We have already discussed that more than one and a half hour. So you can see today's recording. Ah, okay, Prabhu. No, no worries. Yes, we will share the links with you. Hare Krishna. Uh, Hare Krishna. If any other devotee has any other question, they can please ask now. Some more questions here on the chat box. Yes. All right. So I, I guess the words is there also. I think it's over 113111, where it is stated that, my dear king, you should understand that the Supreme Lord's appearance, disappearance, which resemble those of embodied conditions, or are actually so enacted by his illusory energy. Just like a performance of an actor. 11th, 11th. Can anyone read that? Oh, my dear King. You should understand that the Supreme Lord's appearance and disappearance, which resemble those of the embodied, continued souls, are actually a show indicated by the, his illusory energy. And just like the performance of an actor, after creating this universe, he enters into it, plays, play within it for some time, and at last wins it up. Then the Lord remain situated in the, his own transgenerational glory, having castrated from the function of the cosmic manifestation. So here yeah, also again, the same thing has been explained. Yes, at length. Hmm? Yes, probably. So, okay, I'm going to stop the share now. Uh, Aksha, you can. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Dandavat Pranam, all Guru Prabhupada and Vaishnavas. Hare Bol. Prabhu, would you want uh, our devotees to give us some reviews and their learnings? Yes, yeah. this session? Ask the new people, it would be nice. Yeah? Yes, Prabhu. So the new uh, people who have joined us today, they can unmute themselves and share their experience, uh, how they felt about this session today. It would be really inspiring for us. The new people, I repeat, if they can unmute themselves and they can share you can, their experience. You can pick them, no? Yes, Prabhu. We have Abhiram Anish Prabhu. If you can unmute yourself, Prabhu, and share your experience. Jaya Varman. Ah, Hare Krishna. Okay. okay. Actually, I'm really happy to hear about the Krishna consciousness process. So really, I feel like really heart full of love and joyness and devotions, full of joy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who else? Yeah, very nice to talk to you, Prabhu. Hare Hare Krishna. Krishna. Where are you from? I'm from KL, Prabhu. KL, huh? Malaysia. KL, Malaysia. Oh, so our... Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Adi Kesava is there? Maybe you can take his number, huh? From Sumbar? Yeah, sure, Prabhu. You give the okay. number to Vishwambar, huh? then he can uh, okay. help uh, someone to talk to you more. Hmm? Yeah, sure. You can write your number. Is it Vishwambar? Have you got yes, the yes. numbers? 
Yes, yes. We have re registration here. Oh, very good, very good. You can give it to RDK so uh, they can license with him. Hmm? Oh, okay, bro. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. We okay. have Abhiram Prabhu with us. We have Anaswar Prabhu. If you both can kindly unmute yourselves and share your experience, how you felt about the class. We have Chandani Daryanani Mataji. You can kindly unmute yourself, Mataji, and share your experience. Ishashi Mataji, I am able to see. Mataji, you can unmute yourself and share your experience. Any new devotee who would like to share their experience can kindly do so. There is a, the Tamali Panda is there, Tamali Kavita Panda, Sudha Pratisha. Can they say something? Tamali? They are not willing to speak. Eh? Who is Sarala Singh? <laughs> wow, nobody wants to say nothing. We have Sudha Pratyusha Mataji. Mataji, if you can unmute yourself. Sugana Prabhakaran Prabhu, you can unmute yourself, please, and share your experience. What you learned from the class today, you can kindly share. All right. Shera, Chatterjee, Mataji, anyone? Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu. Uh, thank you very much for uh, conducting these weekly classes. Uh, as uh, someone who is uh, like newly joined uh, uh, and new to the Krishna conscious movement, I really appreciate uh, these regular lessons, uh, classes, and uh, it helps to draw me more uh, in the, into the movement as well. Thank you. Where are you from? Uh, I'm originally from Calcutta, but I've been here for uh, in Singapore for uh, quite long, 20 years. Yeah. Oh, so you have come to our temple? Yes, yes, Prabhu. I, I come uh, I come regularly. Mm. Very nice. If you can show a video of yourself, we can see who you are. Hmm? Uh, Hare Krishna, Prabhu. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you are. Yeah. Hare, Krishna. Hare Krishna. So thank you very much for coming tomorrow. Yeah, I'll come tomorrow. Thank you, Prabhu. Very Great. good. So she came for service. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. thank you for your nice testimony. Hmm? Hi, this is Sadish here. Yes. Yeah, I am from uh, Chennai. So oh. I have joined uh, in last few minutes. So oh, really? kindly share uh, the next uh, weekly the invite to me. I have shared my phone number in this chat box. Hare Krishna. So I would like to join weekly call. So you can uh, put him on the uh, list, huh? Yeah. Please, uh, I have shared my uh, contact number in this one. I am oh, from have, Chennai. Oh, we have recorded yeah. it, yeah. Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much for your support. Huh? <clears throat> Prabhu, Shashi Mataji says that she'll share her experience maybe next time. Okay, no problem. Hmm? And Jaya Varman is saying that please share every time the weekly Zoom link if mm, you'd sure. like to join. So, uh, Vishwambar, huh? you can put him on the list. Huh? Yeah. So, Krishna Prem, how you like the program? Prem Chaitanya? Hare Krishna Prabhu, Dandar Tram, all goes to Hagrapad. Mm. Yes, Prabhu, this uh, program is quite very nice, Prabhu, so it's very enlightening. We are getting more and more clear about the spiritual understanding more. So, yes, Prabhu. Mm, very nice. So, you have moved already to Pondicherry? 
uh, not yet prabhu so we will be moving in the next month's first week probably october first week oh okay so he is going to become full time give him a good uh, blessings all of you hari bol hari bol hari bol need your blessings sir. who is uh, isha ishi uh, who is this so he will be he will be giving the he will be giving feedback next week next time oh oh okay <laughs> <laughs> why next time huh? devang devang he is from where nepal huh? hari krishna or is russian oh hari krishna sangapal prabhu is sridam uh, oh sridam yes i sorry i i could just connect it to last 20 minutes mm. uh, Uh, I'm now I'm now trying uh, to learn more English uh, from this class from this 20 minutes uh, half of speaking I understood <laughs> but I'm I'm trying uh, to learn more uh, mm. yes uh, it's very nice uh, to meet you in this, this English class because in mm. Russia class we uh, we have uh, uh, classes many many times but in English uh, you Uh, more uh, you are feeling more creative yes and more no uh, speaking is more fast yeah <laughs> so it's very uh, good experience for me yeah Thank because you. in russian i have a translator no i take time you know yeah yes so here in english it is flowing you know easy one after one you know yes from mm. thank you um, thank you Mm. I, i will try uh, to move on to connect to, to your classes mm. thank you mm. hari krishna who is this tulsi ram tulsi sri raman na? raja ram uh, hari krishna ji just i asked the doubt also uh, uh, where are you singapore uh, yeah singapore already i sp- uh, spoke to you yeah oh very good regular uh, yeah yeah how we you like the session sunday program oh we come sunday okay yeah. good he can show his face in the video huh uh, yeah sure somagri is also there huh hare krishna prabhu hare krishna how are you somagri yeah sorry hare krishna this is my brother this is no work no problem i'm fine thank you haven't heard from you for a long time <laughs> yeah 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 I'm so sorry. But <clears throat> everything is okay. So Somagiri is from Hungary, huh? Is a Hungarian devotee. Mm-hmm. For those who are not knowing. So nice to hear from him. Thank so you. Any, anybody like else? Nice uh, you like the class? Yes, yes. I like it very much. Hmm. Hmm. Prabhu Rajaram Prabhu is showing himself on the video. Okay, let Rajaram speak. He already spoke, Prabhu. You asked him to share his video also. Yes. I didn't see where is his video. Sorry, you are mentioning me or? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. just now Rajaram is there. All right, very good. Thank you, Rajaram. Huh? Uh, sorry actually my name is tulsi raman uh, my father name is rajan oh so your name is tulsi ram huh? yes 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 which part of india ah uh, tamil nadu tamil ah huh? uh, yes very good so anybody else want to say anything more before we wrap up our devotees also who is this show the mm-hmm. video hmm Pranam Prabhuji, my name is Sudha Pratyusha mm. and I am from, um, basically from Bangalore but currently I am residing in Central Europe. I am a student here. Um, the discussion is thought provoking and every, every minute I just felt that I am in the presence of divine, divine um, radius, circumference and thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Hare Krishna. You are staying where you said? 
I do stay in uh, um, Czech Republic, a country called Czech Republic. Oh, you are from Czech, huh? Czech Republic. Do you speak the language there? Uh, not really, Prabhu. I just recently came here. I do oh. speak English here. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think you are in contact with uh, Pavitra, no? Ah, Pavitra, yeah. Yeah, I, very I, good. Pavitra is helping me. Very nice. So try try to see how you can uh, help us preach our highest camp huh? mm -hmm. activities there. Recently, we had a Ratha Yatra here. Mm. Um, almost a thousand uh, members from Prague, actually, they have arrived to the Darshan. Mm. Even I had, a, I had the opportunity to distribute food for ah. the devotees. That's Very a blissful good. moment. Ago. Very good. So you keep in touch with Pavitra huh, and get direction from her and see how we can expand our activities there also. Hmm? Sure, sure. Thank you Thank for you. helping us. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Right. Thank you very much, Guru. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. All right. So, okay, if there's no more, then how is Swambar? You can end the session. Yeah, thank you very much, everyone, for attending the session. So we expect you continue to uh, attend to uh, next week also, and also bring uh, your friends, your uh, anybody interested to hear this very important uh, subject matter, question answer on Bhagavad Gita and other uh, Bhagavatam and other sub other scriptural things, scriptural um, subject matter. So please bring everyone. More you share. You care somebody means you share this one. That is most important things, spiritual knowledge and revive revive their Krishna consciousness. So again, thank you very much. Uh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. All glory, Shushila Prabhupada. All glory to all of you. Thank you again. Hmm? Thank See you, you again. For See you again, See you again next week. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.